Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, as we go into uh, 2023 eventually, and it's coming faster than we think, we uh, of course have, first of all, the uh, info that 22H2, the next version of Windows 11, is coming this September the 20th, 2022. We also saw that we'll have a moment this year, which will bring us File Explorer tabs. But what will happen in 2023? What are the updates? We know that Sun Valley 3 is not going to happen, or what 23H2 was supposed to be, but it's not entirely true. So as we go into 2023, we're going to have moments. And moments are updates that bring us new features. And we know that they'll be coming to us in different ways, including cumulative updates, uh, Windows experience packs, and uh, future updates from apps through the Microsoft Store. What is interesting about it is that it's less invasive than really big updates like we used to have. And technically, uh, we've had quite a few over the last year in Windows 11. They rolled out pretty well in general. So it seems to be a sure way and much more efficient way of providing updates. Now, how many moments will we have in 2023? So according to what people have seen in documentation and in rumors, four moments in 2023. So is it going to be every three months? How is it going to happen? It's so I'm not sure, but we will have four updates that will bring new features next year. So four moments coming next year. Um, one of the things that we are wondering about that also is that, first of all, this is technically 23H2. Those four moments will pretty much put Windows 11 and give us the updates that we would have had with the big update at the end of the year, next, next year, 23H2. So it's kind of 23H2, but they don't call it 23H2 anymore or something like that. Uh, what also we we're wondering is uh, maybe there will be kind of a 23H2 release in a way, uh, meaning that if you haven't uh, moved on, for example, and want to get the latest features, they'll give us a Windows 11 23H2 that includes the four moments of the year. So it's kind of that, and it's kind of Sun Valley 3, but without wanting to say that it's there because they want to say it's not there anymore you know you get the drift of how microsoft is complicated and the ways they do things so anyways that's what's going to happen next year four moments so four updates probably roughly once every three months and that will actually add every time some new features to windows 11 22 h2 so this is kind of interesting we're going to see what they are we're going to see of course the builds uh, of the uh, 22622 uh, because this is where it's happening. If you're on the beta channel and you, they moved you to that branch, 22622, uh, that means you're testing those new features so you'll know before everybody what are these features that might actually make it to the moments next year. So we'll see that in advance probably in that ring which has new features. So that's the deal of what's happening in 2023 for Windows 11 for now. And of course, as we get more details and more info on all the new features and all the things that will roll out uh, and how things are going to happen, uh, it's going to be interesting to see that and, and as we learn more, of course. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.